Yo, what's going on YouTube? Energetic here, back with another video. So in today's video, guys, I want to show you how you guys can snipe to earn millions of MT and just, just to build a really, really good team. So this is what my team looks like. Um, Well, actually, I don't... Hold on. I got to add these dudes in. I'm, I have... Uh, basically, I have Magic and Mellow where the point guard... Um, in small forward spots and I have Luca here. The reason these guys are in my auctions is because I want to be able to snipe um, These these same opals when I'm on you know when I'm on the Western filter without filtering them out But basically that's what my team looks like, right? So I got magic at that point guard spot and, and mellow where the small forward is So just use your imagination for a little bit and I was able to build this full team and you can see I have 1,759,000 MT So I'll be close to 2 million like very soon. I mean, I, I can honestly hit that today if I get like one or two snipes so but basically i'm gonna what i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna tell you how you can like earn this amount of mt get this good of a team and you know just by sniping and you don't even have to have a lot of mt to do it you can literally start from the ground up okay and people would probably be like oh why don't buy shack i don't want shack i mean yeah he's he'll be cool to have but i'd rather make content bro than have the best team like if i have a lot of mt i can make better content for you guys as opposed to me having like the best team possible so if i can get shack off a of snipe then sure but i'm not gonna sit here and buy him but let's 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 get into how you can earn this mt um by sniping so let's say you're in the 500 to 1000 mt range that's the thing for all the different like for different ranges of people like who have different amounts of mt i'm gonna explain how you can you know earn more so i'm so we're gonna start off with like 500 to 1000 mt range no 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 we'll say 500 mt to like 3000 MT, okay? If you're if you have anywhere from 500 to 3000 MT, here's what you're going to do. You're going to spend time on the 500 or 600 filter or 650 filter. I mean, they're all kind of they're basically the same thing. So what you do is you go your maximum bio, you put that to either 500 or 600. I'd probably go 600. And then I would you put your max bit to 100k. That's all you do. And then basically uh yeah you just fil filter it like that and then you just keep refreshing you decrease the maximum bid and you're gonna see like a lot of bronze players gold players let's see if i see anything here but bro i've literally seen an opal ball ball for 500 one time and i missed it because i'm a dummy and who uh who hesitated on a snipe but it's all good bro and like the on honestly your your odds of seeing an opal are not high but you know it happens bro. like it literally happens i've seen it happen before and with my own eyes and i've seen other people get snipes for you know 500 mt2 and nothing seems to be popping up right now but it is like 1 30 in, in in the afternoon so it's not really the best time to snipe if i'm gonna say the best time to snipe probably be like evening to nighttime. but if you're on if you're like on this budget spend time on this filter and then what you want to do is avoid the bronze players i would not buy any bronze players i would buy golds and if you if you buy golds for like 600 um you just try to sell them for as much as you can. You can some. You're not gonna get too much profit off golds, but if you're getting even tiny bits of profit, that's gonna help because once you get enough to get to the diamond filter, which is what we're gonna talk about next, then you'll be good to go. So, start off with this filter and use it until you can get enough to use up there. Now the snipes are popping up. You see, all that just popped up in one refresh. I didn't. I didn't go for it because I don't. I don't need these snipes. But okay, I don't know. Things weren't popping up, and now all of a sudden things are popping up. But yeah, basically you want to like that Ben Simmons. I probably would have bought him and then quick sold him. I think he's quick sells for maybe like 800 if I'm not. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but some of them you could just quick sell them and, and earn profit like that. So it's really up to you what you want to do or if you want to post them on the auction house and get just a tiny bit of profit. But if you're doing that a lot, you're going to get a lot of profit. So if you're between 5000 or 500 and 3000 MT, I would do that. So if you're anywhere above that, let's say you're between um, 3000 MT and i'm gonna say like 3000 to like 12 you can use the diamond filter 12 is just a rough rough estimate but i would use the diamond filter so let me show you the diamond filter i'm gonna show you real quick bro it, it varies from time to time it depends how how the uh the auction house is looking at the moment so for now i have to find out what the cheapest diamond player is and how much he goes for so we're gonna do that right now let's see usually he goes for around four thousand all right and it's usually earl monroe I gotta drop it down a little bit okay so he it looks like the diamond filter went down a little bit so what is he going for 3650 yeah or 3500 so i'm gonna put my max buyout to 3000 
I put my max bid to 100k and I actually use this filter myself even at a million MT I do use this filter myself not too often but I do you know sometimes when I feel like hopping on a more consistent filter than the opal so you go like this and you just keep refreshing like this 3000 um, max bio 100k max bid now you got to adjust your max bio according to what the cheapest diamond is on the auction house so you see i went 500 mt below that might be a good standard for you to for you to do you know so yeah you just keep refreshing on this and then you'll see some good snipes go up like i've seen paul pierce for 1k he sells for like i don't know 8,000. i've seen brent berries when he was in packs go for like 500 i've seen him for very cheap so especially when new packs come out you want to use this because there's always a diamond in the packs that that's going to be a really good budget card that people just throw up for whatever reason and you can make ton of profit off those of people like throwing up those cheap diamonds like that and just flipping them that's what you want to do and then you do this until you have enough to afford to to uh be able to use the paint diamond filter or you can just continue to use this like honestly once you have enough to use this filter you could use this filter all the way until you get to 100 kmt okay which is honestly i, I might I, I might do that myself if i were if i were in your position but uh, if you want to use the pink diamond filter or if you get bored of this filter or if it's dry or for whatever reason, you can use the pink diamond filter, which what I will show you right now. So essentially, all these filters are the same. You just set them up in the same way. So I'm just going to go color pink diamond. And then you want to find the cheapest pink diamond that's on the auction house, which is probably David Thompson. I think he did go up in price because I don't think he's on the boards anymore. He's been off the boards for a minute. So what? 9,950, 9,850. All right. 9,600 is the cheapest David Thompson. I would go my max buyout. You can go to like 8,000. You can go 8,000. I feel like that's uh, that's good. And then go to your max bid to 100K. You always want to have that max bid to 100K when you're using these budget filters because this is how you refresh it. So boom, pink diamond, 100K max bid, 8,000 max buyout. You start refreshing. You're going to see mostly David Thompson's. You can see anything else. Somebody throws up a glitch Giannis for under 8,000 MT. You pick that up, bro. That's all. That's hundreds of thousands of profit right there. I don't see anybody realistically doing that, but you never know. Some people be throwing up some crazy snipes. I don't know, bro. But yeah. So this is this is the pink diamond filter. Now you can also do this while filtering out David Thompson. So if, if you have David Thompson, which I don't because I threw it up for a snipe for one of my subscribers. But if I had David Thompson, I would increase the max bio to the cheapest pink diamond other than David Thompson, and I would filter him out. And you know, and then you know, you won't see any David Thompsons. You see every other pink diamond in the game, and the, and the max buyout would be higher, meaning that you're going to see more potential snipes. So, basically, that's what you want to do. If you're tired of the diamond filter, or if you think this filter is better, you know, you can use this one. I've used this filter. I haven't gotten too many snipes with this filter, but you know, it's definitely something that you can do. All right. So this this filter is for people, like I said, uh, from like 12. I mean, if, if 8,000 max bio, it depends if you're going to do it with David Thompson or not. If you're if you're going to do it with, with David Thompson popping up on the filter, then all you need is 8K. But if you're going to do it without him, you might need like 12 to 15K MT minimum to snipe on, on the filter while you filter out David Thompson. So, you know, so this is anybody from like 8K or 12 to 15K above. At that point, you can start sniping these pink diamonds and see what you can get. I didn't see anything in that time. You got to spend more time on it than I was on there for like a minute or two. So it's not going to be enough time for you to really see something. But um, let's let's see what, what what's the packs in the market right now. We got what? Flash six, right? These expire in three days. What the heck? OK, I thought they expired tomorrow, whatever. So basically, you it, since these are the pack, these are the packs that are currently in the game. You want to snipe the players that are in here. So the pink diamonds, uh, Luol Deng and Pau Gasol, these are the guys you want to snipe. And uh, you can snipe Nicholas Batum as well if you want to do that. But I would mainly go for Luol Deng and Pau Gasol, all right? So that's what I would do. You're probably going to see most Luol Dengs. This is for people, I'll, I'll, well, I'll show you right now. I'll show you what range of MT you're going to need to use this filter, all right? Let me just go pink diamond. I'm going to go theme flash six. And then we're going to find the cheapest pink diamond on the auction house with this theme, which is, I know it's Luol Deng, but I, I don't know what price he is. I think he's in the 20K range. Yeah, there he is. So let me drop this down to find the cheapest one. So you really don't need much MT to, to use this filter. I spoke about this in my filter video, but for those who didn't see that, I'll speak about it again right here. 
so this right now is for the the moment right now like for today and for the for the rest of for the rest of the time that these packs are available on the market there's always going to be a new filter that's going to come out with new packs a new filter similar to this one that's always going to be out when new packs come out because there's always new pink diamonds that they're dropping and new diamond players that they're dropping but for the time being this is the one you want to use so i'm trying to find the cheapest Luol all dang right now he looks like he's going to be around 20k almost on the dot all right yeah 20,250 so i would put my max buyout to like 15 so basically you need like 15,000 mt you can go maybe a little higher because let's see if i buy a Luol Deng for 15,000 I sell it for 20,000 they're taking they're taking 2,000 off my sell my sale because of the 10% so basically you're making 18k so it'd be like a, not you're not making 18k but it's a it's a 3,000 if you buy them for 15 you're selling for 20 10% off 18k so you know 3k profit if you guys understand what I'm saying I, I maybe I explained it wrong but basically you're making 3,000 MT profit that's all you need to know if you have the max buyout at 15 and you're selling it for 20 you're making 3k profit okay because of the tax so what you want to do is set up the filter like this flash six ping diamond um 100k max bid 15k max bio so basically you can use this filter or or you can use the pink diamond filter with david thompson filtered out it's around the same mt same budget for you to use this filter but you just refresh you're gonna see most likely luol dangs i don't know how consistent this filter will be but if you, you know, if you get a snipe on here, you, you know, it might do a decent amount. Like some little all things might go for cheap, you know, but I don't know how consistent this filter is because I don't actually use it. But I know these filters are always most consistent when the packs drop. It's already a few days after packs have dropped. Packs have dropped Friday, today's Monday. So, you know, this filter might not be too crazy, but at least give it a try. You know, somebody did tell me that they use this filter and they caught a Palgasol, bro. And I was like, wow, like t W, bro. And he was going for the high back then i don't really know what his price is right now but he was going for the high so you know that's that's good profit so man trust me man you know you know i'm about to bring you the best filters bro you already know that so you want to use this filter if you're like 15k um on a, on a 15k budget if you have like 15k mt you can use this filter and uh if you have at least 15k if you have more than 50k you can always use any of the filters you know any any filter you want but if you have like 15k mt only you can use this filter and you would make profit off of it okay i'm telling you right now man these filters are i'm trying to help you start from the ground up to be able to afford some opals so i started off with that 500 600 filter you use that filter you build up so you have enough to use the diamond filter then you use the diamond filter you can either use the diamond filter all the way till you get 100k or you can use the diamond filter to build up to this flash six pink diamond filter or the other pink diamond filter that i gave you prior to this so those are your two options after that once once you're around like let's say you're around like the 50k mark there's not really any crazy filters that you can use you want to just continue to use these budget filters right so let's say you're at like 50 kmt just continue to use these budget filters and just get your way to 100k so let's now you're at 100k you've been sniping whatever you're at 100k don't buy any players you guys always say oh you know i have 20 kmt 50 kmt 70 kmt what should i do to improve my team don't buy any players this is how you improve your team you get to 100k you get some opal snipes you need an opal snipe that is the only way you're going to build a really good team on this game is if you can get opal snipes okay because those are going to give you the biggest profit unless you just literally all day sit on these budget filters I, I don't know i can't do that bro i can't do that i want an opal snipe that's going to bring me at least 30k up, up mt profit off a of snipe okay so you got to get 200k to snipe opals so let's say you're at 100k exactly and you snipe i don't know let, let, let's just pull up opals right here let's say you're 100k exactly and you end up sniping hidu turka glue he's, he's ending at 350 this one has a diamond contract but he's ending at 350 you had 100k mt and you snipe a hidu turka glue for 100k you have zero mt now and and hidu turka glue he will improve your team you're like oh i i sniped the hidu turka glue my best point guard is uh diamond jamarant should i keep or sell bro sell that man i'm telling you sell that man there's no purpose of you keeping him you can get him back in the future sell that man get your 200 to 250k mt profit now you're sitting at 200 to 250,000 mt you literally started off with like 500 mt or whatever amount you you started off with and now you have 200 to 250,000 mt now you're probably saying oh man that's gonna take a long time it really wouldn't it wouldn't take too long 
like if you spend a lot of time on the filters you can do it within a couple days if you don't have as much time maybe a week or so so yeah and once you get to that 100k mt you're good this is why i always say have 100k mt to snipe with and honestly you can have 100k mt to snipe with i'd rather you have 200k though and the reason is this let's say you you have 200 no let's say you have 100k like i just said you have 100k you snipe the hedo for 100k now you have no mt you can't keep them because if you keep them you're starting from the beginning again you're starting from nothing so you have to sell them if you want mt you sell him but if you have 200k and you snipe somebody for 100k and you and you actually want to keep them because it would benefit your team you still have 100k left over to snipe so i always say have 100k mt but it's even better to have 200k to sit on so you can snipe and if you really want to keep the player you, you have that flexibility where you can keep a player okay so like if i catch a snipe right now i can keep whoever i want because i have over 1 million but this is what you want to do right so you snipe that hedo you sell them now you're at 200k now whatever player you snipe you can keep and you just continue to do the same thing but you'd never 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 go below 100k so you snipe boom you catch your snipe sell it and you just continue the process you continue the process so you say what 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 opal filter should i sit on right now the best opal filter i think is i mean you can you can do this the, the general opal filter trey young there's only one trey young up right now the trey young sometimes they you know they fluctuate so sometimes you can do the general opal filter sometimes you can't it's really up to you know how the market is looking i don't even do that I actually have Alex Caruso in my collection and this is probably this is probably a good investment for some of you who have like 400k MT buy Alex Caruso buy Trey Young and filter them both out and then at that point you can snipe everybody else in the game so the, the reason I don't do this personally is because my team has so many opals on it and some of them I locked in so KD is locked in Ben is locked in um Tracy is not but basically i want to be able to snipe ben i mean actually if i think about it ben is really the only one that i'd be missing i don't even use i mean i so me personally i could buy trey young because i'd only be filtering out ben because jordan is not locked in and kg's not in the auction house kareem is not locked in tracy's not locked in so i if i buy trey young and i filter out and en enabled cards or if i if i filter out owned cards i would only be filtering out kd and Ben because I locked them in I locked them both in to get Kevin Garnett so I can't move them to my auction house and when I'm sniping I want to move all my players to my auction house so I can see those same players that I that I have on my team I can see them on the filter so let's say I get Trey Young and I buy him for 100k to filter him out I'd, I would send Jordan I would send Kareem and Tracy all to my auction so they're not in my collection meaning that they can pop up in the filter all right so that's what you want to do if you really want to filter out so uh, that's that's actually a viable option for me but i'm not going to do that right now because i'm trying to get to 2 million mt to bring you guys a crazy video but i actually have caruso that's why i have these dudes in my auctions um mellow luca and magic because i don't have them locked in if i don't have them locked in i can send them to my auctions and i can see these same players on the filters i actually sniped the luca just the other day because he was in my auctions so that's what i'm saying man buy filter out the players it works so my favorite filter is opal western and just enabled and yes i can't see kd um but that's really it that's the only player i can't see is kd because he's the way right or no no no. there's, there's a couple other other players in my collection that i'm not using on my team let me see let me see let me go to galaxy opal the players that i cannot see are kd oscar and that's it kd and oscar and if yeah those are the only two players i can't see unfortunately i can't see them bro but you got to sacrifice something right if you want to make the filter as good as possible i can still get a whole bunch of other snipes so it's not really that big of a deal but yeah so opal western and then i just enable and then you, you know you put your minimum buyout you can just put your minimum buyout 500 if you want but i i set it up even more complex than that i do all this other stuff so uh in case you know i misclick on the filter it doesn't you know switch anything on there so this is how i do it but you can just put the minimum buyout to 500 if you want and then you know you just do this and you sit on this filter for as long as it takes for you to get a snipe as long as it takes and then you know you get your snipes and you're good to go man you're good to go so at, at that point once you're like let's say you're at like the 400k mt range you don't ever have to keep stacking your mt you can get a snipe keep one 
and then just continue sniping sell it for profit and then just keep the next one and then sell the next one and then keep the next one and then you always have good mt to sit on and you'll just keep building building better plays for your team so and that's really how i was able to build a team that looks like this i mean obviously like i said i'm missing the point guard and the small forward but that's how i was able to build a team that looks like this without you know spending money um and honestly my team could improve a little bit like i can get Shaq and i can get blake griffin those two guys would make my team a little bit better but that's you know those are really the only improvements i can make at this point so i'll probably get them eventually we'll see but yeah that's really gonna be it for this video it might have been a little long but um i hope it helped people i really wanted this video to be super helpful so if it was man make sure you guys hit the sub um if you're new and you're not already subscribed man i stream every day i make videos every day I try to help you guys as much as possible and yeah we're on the road to 20k subs too we just hit 16k yesterday so i appreciate you guys all the love and support man and yeah with that said i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one peace out